Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a message on Facebook wanting to know how to 3D engrave different letters. I uh, picked eight. He picked some numbers and letters that had circles, and so I just picked the letter eight. And if you're watching this video, I picked Arial Black to give it a thick font because you need some room. So there's two ways you can do this. One of them is going from black to white or light gray. Now, just one word, um, this will appear more of a point than it will really, because this isn't true 3D. Corel only has eight bits of gray from what I understand and the people that really do 3D. But this, either one of these, you can test which one you like better. It's just the opposite. It's going from light gray to dark. And this will go inward and this will come outward. So this will be deep in the wood. This will be light in the wood. This will be light and this will be deep. So it's just personal preference. So we're going to do those two. So control D, make a duplicate of that. You could select them both and go left click, right click with a, let's do black. Then we're going to take this one and make it a light gray. So then you're going to take this one, go up to your contour tool and pick contour to the center. When you do that, it gets away from the steps and you point, you put in 0 .001. And we're going to go from this black outline to a light gray and just hit apply. It takes just a second. Then we'll grab this one and we'll do just the opposite. We'll go to a black. And it's already done it because it, uh, it knows that you're going to want to do it. So those are two different ways. It doesn't, you know, it's not perfect. Um, but it does give it some neat effect. Now, just one word of warning. If you're doing a lot, uh, this takes rather long to engrave because you want to run it really slow and high power. So it'll give you some good effect. If you just engrave it at 70 speed and 100 power, you're not going to see much depth. But if you engrave it, at, I engraved, started graving. I just got out of the shop and doing some 3D engraving. And I've started going to uh, 400 dots per inch and running these at 100 power and 10 speed. And it really burns the wood and gives it some depth. And then you can also run it again, depending on how much you've got to run at a higher power, 100 power at, you know, 50 to 70 speed. And it'll clean off some of the black soot or the, the sap wood that's uh, crystallized because of the heat of the laser. So that's how you would do numbers or letters. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.